Amy Jones Timoney from the University of Kentucky, and today we are here in the College of Engineering with Dean Rudy Buckeye. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Looking forward to the conversation. Well, let's start the walk here in the quad, and I would love to know just first of all, why are you so passionate about engineering education? Yeah, I think um, it's really more than just education. It's engineering research and education. Uh, I think my passion starts where a lot of uh, people started. Uh, it, I was always very interested in science. Uh, I grew up uh, during the Apollo days. That was an inspiration for people uh, of my age. But you know, as I've worked through in my career, I've, I've realized that uh, engineering is really the foundation of our economy and you can't have a robust technological economy without engineering. And so we prepare professionals, obviously, to work in the various fields of engineering, but uh, our faculty and our grad students are also uh, researchers, so they, they are discoverers, they innovate with those discoveries, and that's what creates the technology that we really benefit from. So being connected to that is very exciting. Well, your students who are here, um, tell me a little bit about them. Why, why are they picking the UK College of Engineering? Yeah, so we have 3,500 undergraduate students with us now, and I think we have 3,500 different reasons why these people are, are here. So they're, it's a very diverse group. They're coming in from lots of different directions uh, to prepare themselves for their ideals in, in this field. So we bring them in, we uh, imprint them with the foundations of engineering, Hopefully we impart to them the ability to continue to learn once they leave campus. And then they go off and they do amazing things. Well, we've made our way um, kind of towards the edge of the courtyard here. Tell me a little bit about this construction project. We're very excited about uh, what this is going to help us uh, do and, and become. We're grateful to be able to add, add it to the space pool. And we're particularly grateful because the building sits right at the center of the engineering complex here on campus, and that's um, very unusual for colleges of engineering across the country. Many have grown, but they've grown within already built campuses, and so they've become spread out and fragmented. Here at UK, we've been able to keep engineering concentrated at one place, and so the location of this building right at the margins of our existing uh, engineering campus is really important. Our first year engineering uh, program will be headquartered here. Um, that's becoming a signature aspect of engineering education at UK. We will uh, put in the headquarters for the Center for Autonomous Systems Research. Uh, autonomy is becoming a very big thing uh, in, in many ways. Um, within that center will be a sub-center, the Center for Precision Meteorology. And so that's making local weather measurements uh, for small length scale weather prediction. And that's based on a drone constellation platforms for interrogation of lower parts of the atmosphere that we really haven't been able to get to yet. So that's a fascinating uh, activity. And then the third thing that will go in here will be the Power and Energy Institute of Kentucky. And so power and energy is very big in this state. We have a very well-known center, very active, and it's gonna be headquartered here as well. So it addresses elements uh, of both our uh, educational mission and our research mission, and we're thrilled to bring it into the space pool for engineering. It's a very exciting future here, that's for sure. Well, now that we've kind of taken a look at this project, let's head um, back inside um, to talk a little bit more about how the college is working on student success. Sounds good. So we've made our way inside the Anderson Tower um, and we're gonna head inside uh, the Center for Student Success. Tell me a little bit about this space. Sure, so this is, this is the James and Gay Hardyman Center for Student Success. Um, it's 10,000 square feet of uh, newly renovated facilities uh, that are really aimed at um, promoting all aspects of success of our students, both while they're here, but also as they transition uh, into their careers. So obviously we've got um, study space for group study, individual study, um, um, there's, as you can see over there, some study rooms for uh, when things get a little bit more conversational. Uh, and then if we uh, proceed over this way, we have all the um, academic advisors, career services, um, student records. So in many respects, um, a, a student can be served fully here. It's one-stop shopping for, uh, for our students in terms of um, getting help with organizing. Um, their progress through our curriculum and then transition into co-ops and internships, 
but also into jobs. The engineering curriculum is so demanding, it can be all consuming, uh, but really uh, you have to attend to all these other things in order to successfully make your way out of the classroom and into the work uh, environment. So putting it all right here where it's accessible and there's a good network of students and advisors and faculty together really makes it easier for the students to navigate that uh, less familiar part of their professional preparation. It works really well for us. The students appreciate it. I think if you ask them, they will say, I feel appreciated here. People are interested in me. And I think this is a, uh, the built example of our commitment and our interest in our student success. I know another spot that students love is the Innovation Center, so let's head outside and, and go check out that space. Sounds great. We've made our way over to the Maker Space or Innovation Center mm -hmm. here. Um, tell me a little bit about what goes on inside of this space. Well, the idea starts with uh, the reality that being an engineer is more than uh, just what you know, it's what you can do, what you can do with your hands. And so this is one of several uh, venues that we have, opportunities that we have for our students to uh, connect head to hands. And so there's a lot of 3D uh, printers, there's design tools, woodworking tools, mills and, and things of that sort. So, you know, if you're interested, if you've got good DIY skills or you want good uh, DIY skills, this is a place. It supports a lot of our senior design projects. It also supports our student organizations and student clubs, but uh, we make a big effort to get our students connected with um, this space and the tools in it and several others that we have located around the college campus. So it's fun. I mean, this is what I think kids think of when they think about getting involved in engineering. Get your hands dirty, and we totally encourage that. I know innovation is very important to the college, not just in a space like this, but also in terms of, of the research that, mm -hmm. that you're doing here. Right. It's Again, we have a big faculty. We're 171 uh, faculty members. They're not just educators, they're researchers. So it's just a, an enormous range of, of, of things. It's exciting. I, I learn a, a new thing about the research portfolio every day that I'm here. I think it'll be that way every day that I, I'm here. How important is the research that is being done here in this college to the overall mission of the University of Kentucky? Right. This connects to our, our land grant mission. Um, we've accumulated a significant amount of expertise and we are training future uh, expertise. And the way that you uh, hone that expertise is through practice and it's this systems level thinking. It's this problem solving approach that gets honed in the laboratory developing uh, new uh, technology from scientific discovery. And so uh, the teaching and the research missions are, are very deeply interwoven with one another, and it's a very specific way to teach the discipline of engineering. Is there anything that, that you just want the rest of campus to know about you, your college? Yeah, I think the thing that I want people to um, uh, realize is that, uh, yes, we're engineers, but we're not the nerdy engineers, right? We like to partner with people. We like to communicate. We like to engage. So come and uh, discover what's going on here in our college, and let's figure out how we can work together. Well, thank you so much for showing us around today. It's Thanks. been great to see inside. If you'd like more information on the College of Engineering, just visit the website on your screen.